My name is Johan Terve, VP Marketing, Aptilo Networks. This is a 10 minutes demo of our solution for Wi-Fi 4 AAU, which is included in our Aptilo Guest Wi-Fi Cloud service. Let's go! In this demo, I will focus on the login portal of the Wi-Fi 4 AAU service. But let me first give you an overview of some of the other functions in Aptilo Guest Wi-Fi Cloud. This is how the administration portal looks like. We have analytics, but we also have some very nice marketing functions like banner advertising. We can do group messages to people that has visited the site. We also have what we call the event triggered message, sending message to people that, for instance, arrive at the site. And we also support pop-up ads. We have different functions to handle subscribers and sessions. Our solution to handle users' consent and their personal data has won several awards and uh, it's GDPR compliant. You will see more about this later. Let's now look into the part of the service that the user sees, the login portal. We go to the Capti portal part and then we choose add a new portal. And we make a name here, Euro Will, which is our imaginary uh, municipality here. And then we select a template for this. The next step is to decide in which zone this portal will be shown. I select these two zones and the zone can be anything from one access point to a group of access points. Also, uh, it's hierarchical. So if I select a zone higher up, the uh, portal will be shown in all zones underneath. Now it's time to decide on the login methods and other functions. We support all login methods there is, but since this is a Wi-Fi for EU service, we are only going to use the simple click and connect connectivity. We also need to collect the user's consent to save their MAC address as the Wi-Fi for AAU service requires this. Uh, and MAC address is considered as personal data in many European countries. Wi-Fi for AAU also requires us to install a small snippet in the login portal. I will soon show you how easy it is to configure this, but under the hood there are many advanced things going on such as fetching the Wi-Fi for EU banner uh, in the right size for the right screen and also counting the number of users on the portal. I will now show how easy it is to configure this snippet. You go into the plugin settings and then you enter unique identifier that every municipality has got from Wi-Fi for EU. And that's all you need to do. The last step is to modify the looks of the portal and that is done in a very easy to use portal editor. It's designed so that anyone can make the updates of the portal even without any web development skill. The first thing I will do is to switch out the template's top logo to the Eurowill logo. Then I switch out the background picture as well to represent the municipality in a good way. And as you can see, we can also preview this in different screen sizes. This is a tablet in portrait and landscape. And then we can have a look at the mobile phone in portrait and landscape as well. And when I'm happy with this, I just press uh, apply and then create to create the portal. This is how easy it is to create the login portal. Let's now have a look at the user experience for the most common user of all, the smartphone user. I start with switching on Wi-Fi, of course. 
and then I select the Wi-Fi network, in this case a lab network, but think it's Wi-Fi for EU. And the portal instantly come up with the Wi-Fi for EU snippet. And from here the user just have to click to connect to the internet. And then our smart consent pop-up comes up. I say smart because it's totally separated from the portal design. And all the detailed consent that comes up are linked to the login method used. So this pop-up will look differently for different uh, use cases. Wi-Fi for EU requires that the user will be automatically logged in again for the next 12 hours. This is why we have to save the device ID or as it's also known MAC address. And this needs to be a mandatory consent. So when I try to click on the I agree without first consenting, I will be stopped and not passed through. So what I need to do is to go up again and consent and then agree. And then I come to the welcome page. Here you can have useful information for the user, including banners, but for this demo purpose I just have a continue button. And when I press that continue button I have full access to the internet sponsored by the European Commission. We often get questions if it's allowed to have commercial advertising on the portal. No, it's not. But you can always have municipality information that is non-commercial. But there are also other means in our service to communicate with the user. You can do that through SMS and email for instance. And we will now show how that can work. I simply make a copy of the portal we just created and I rename it to Eurowill SMS Info. I don't need to select the zone, so I go straight to the Modify Option page and there I select Anonymous or Survey as a login method, which allows us to collect the user's smartphone number. And of course this is an optional parameter, the user don't have to leave the smartphone number, but they will get good SMS info if they do. And to inform them about the reason for collecting this SMS info, I also enable the banner management that we will use soon. Now we will go to the portal editor and all I have to do here is to put in a banner to inform the user why we want to uh, collect their phone number. I have prepared a banner for this, so all I have to do is to go and upload this banner. I can look at how it looks in different uh, screen sizes again. And uh, that's it. When I now press apply and create, uh, I have a new portal. Let's now look at the user experience for the mobile phone user in this new portal where they can leave their mobile number in order to get useful information from the municipality. Again I select the Wi-Fi network and now the portal comes up and as you can see we now have this banner stay updated on Euroville and get municipality info via SMS. When I click connect, I'm asked to leave my mobile number. I continue and get our smart consent pop-up with a new consent regarding information via SMS. I certainly want this information from the municipality, so I select that consent and also the mandatory consent save device ID. I press agree and come online just as before. This is how easy it is. It's really plug and play. Thank you for your attention.